Recording of Transactions Accounting Equation Solutions Problem 2 Solution Presented by Eduxy.com In this video, we are going to provide Recording of Transactions 1 Accounting Equation Solutions Problem 2 Solution The following is the problem statement. Prepare accounting equation from the following. Kunal started business with cash, 2,50,000 rupees. He purchased furniture for cash, 35,000 rupees. He paid commission, 2,000 rupees. He purchased goods on credit, 40,000 rupees. He sold goods, costing 20,000 for cash, 26,000. To prepare the accounting equation, let us first prepare the table. Let us have a column for transactions. On asset side, we have cash, stock of goods, furniture, and let us have a column for the total of all this. And on the other side, let us have liabilities, capital, and a column for total of all these. The first transaction is Kunal started business with cash 2,50,000 rupees. This transaction increases the cash as asset by 2,50,000 rupees and also increases the capital by rupees 2,50,000. After this transaction, the business will have 2,50,000 worth of cash, no stock of goods yet no furniture yet and total of all the assets will be rupees 2 lakhs and 50 thousands. There are no liabilities yet. Total capital would be rupees 2 lakhs and 50 thousands and total of liabilities and capital would be 2 lakhs and 50 thousands. The second transaction is he purchased furniture for cash 35,000 rupees. Because the furniture is purchased using cash, this transaction decreases the cash asset by 35,000 rupees and increases the furniture by worth of 35,000. No change in the liabilities or capital. This transaction is just a decrease in one asset and increase in the other asset. Subtracting 35,000s from 2,50,000s, the business will have 2 lakhs and 15,000 rupees of cash asset. Furniture worth of 35,000 rupees. No stock of goods yet. The total worth of assets would be 2 lakhs 15,000s plus 35,000s, that is 2 lakhs and 50,000 rupees. No liabilities yet. No change in the capital and it remains 2 lakhs and 50,000 rupees only. And total of liabilities and capital would be 2 lakhs and 50,000. The third transaction is he paid a commission of 2000 rupees. Because the payment is done, you can simply take it that the commission is paid in cash. This transaction decreases the cash asset by 2000 rupees. One thing that should be noted is the commission is an expense and it is paid out of cash. So it decreases the capital also by 2000 rupees. Now subtracting 2000s from 215000s of cash, we have 2 lakhs and 13000 worth of cash remaining. No stock of goods yet. Furniture worth of 35,000. The total worth of assets would be 2 lakhs and 48,000 rupees. No liabilities yet. As there is a decrease of 2,000 rupees of capital, subtracting 2,000 rupees from 2 lakh 50,000 rupees will have 2 lakh 48,000 rupees of capital. And 
the total of liabilities and the capital would be 248000 rupees the fourth transaction is he purchased goods on credit for rupees 40000 this transaction increases stock of goods by 40000 rupees also as the goods are purchased on credit that means kunal didn't pay in cash for the goods now as this is a transaction on credit it creates a liability of 40000 rupees now the business has 2 lakhs and 13000 worth of cash 40000 worth of stock of goods 35000 worth of furniture the total of all these assets will be 2 lakhs and 88000 rupees the business now has a liability of 40000 it has total capital of 2 lakh 48000 and the total of liabilities in the capital would be 2 lakh 88000 the fifth transaction is he sold goods costing rupees 20000 for cash 26000 this transaction decreases the stock of goods by 20000 rupees and as the goods are sold for cash 26000 rupees it adds up to the cash asset also as the goods worth of 20000 are sold for 26000 there is a profit of 6000 and it should be added to the capital adding 26000 and 213000 the cash asset is worth of 2 39000 subtracting 20000 worth of goods from 40000 stock we have 20000 worth of goods remaining there is no change in the furniture and it remains as 35000 adding all these assets the business now has 294000 worth of assets the business now has a liability of 40000 adding 6000 profit to the existing 248000 capital the total capital will be 254000 and total of liabilities and capital would be 294000 rupees for calculation the total of all the assets would be sum of cash stock of goods and furnitures that is sum of 2 lakh 39000 20000 and 35000 adding we get 2 lakh 94000 that is the total worth of assets the business has liabilities of 40000 rupees the capital is equal to 2 lakh 54000 rupees the total is 2 lakh 94000 rupees the accounting equation is verified as assets are equal to liabilities plus capital that is 2 lakh 94000 is equal to 40000 plus 2 lakh 54000 hence the accounting equation is proved thanks for watching edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel Also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.